Welcome to the Email Marketing Rainmaker video series. This is going to be a five part video series all about how to create a six to seven figure business that runs on sending simple emails. Or if you already have an existing business, how to double your sales profitably using email marketing. So in this first video, I'm gonna talk about how to create a six to seven figure business that runs on sending simple emails. And you're gonna see how I took a new info product business from scratch from $0 to 25K per month in just two and a half months using email to drive over 50% of our sales. So this is a business that we just started in February of this year, uh, late February, and you can see by April here, we we're doing $25,000 per month with email driving over 50% of those sales. So here's what we're gonna cover over this five part video series. Video number one is the one you're watching right now, how to create a six to seven figure business that runs on sending simple emails with examples. Video number two is how to build an email list the modern 2020 way, or I should say the Sean Anthony way. I have a specific way of building my list that is a bit counterintuitive to how most people tell you how to do it. Video number three is how to make big money from your email list once you've built one. Video number four is how to write compelling emails that sell. And video number five is if you do have a day job, I'm gonna tell you how you can replace your day job and make $3,500 per month or more writing emails for clients. I think this is a massive opportunity. I think it's a huge gap in the industry for people that are talented in email marketing, email copywriting to come into these businesses that are already successful and help them increase their sales profitably using email. So I'll teach you how to do that in video number five. So let's talk about what we're covering today in this first video. First, I'm gonna talk about what is an email rainmaker. What do I mean when I say that? Why I freaking love email. I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why I love email so much as it's my favorite marketing and sales channel. Three steps to becoming an email rainmaker. And five examples of six to seven figure successful businesses that are run or that are driven, driving most of their sales through email. So uh, first let's talk about what is an email rainmaker? Well, it's really simple. An email rainmaker is a person or business that can generate a significant portion of sales or make it rain using email. And yes, I just made this definition up. So if you Google search it, you're not gonna find this, but this is my definition here. So since 2016, I've used email to generate millions in sales between my businesses and my clients' businesses. And one of the reasons I love email so much is it's because it's extremely versatile. So I've used it to sell everything from e-com physical products to info products to high ticket sales calls to courses and coaching programs and to get clients for my agency and consulting services. So I've used it to sell everything under the sun, right? From physical products to digital products to sales calls and just to get clients. So whether you're selling affiliate offers or your own products or services or you're doing it for clients, email can be a game changer for you and your business if you do it right. And that's what I'm gonna show you exactly how to do in this video series, how to do email marketing and email copywriting the right way. So let's talk about a few reasons why I freaking love email. It's my favorite marketing and sales channel and I'm gonna tell you why. So number one, it's your own podium. So your email list is made up of people who wanna hear what you have to say, who are interested in what you've got to offer and you have the opportunity to be in their ear every single day through your email podium, right? So if you have something to say, you have a story you wanna share, you have a new product that you wanna promote, a new service offering, you can go and promote it or send out an email to your list and consider that like your podium. And you can say whatever you want every day, just sending out a simple, sending out a simple email that takes you 10 to 30 minutes per day to write. Number two, work less, make mucho more. So as your list and income grows, the amount of work that it takes or that you put in to this email list it doesn't go up, right? So the amount of work it takes to send an email to a thousand people is the same amount of work it takes to send an email out to a million people. You're still doing the same exact amount of work even though your income is infinitely levels higher, right? So as your income goes up, you don't have to work more. You're still sending out a simple email every day. Number three, write yourself a fat paycheck daily. Having an email list is like being able to write yourself a fat paycheck every day whenever you hit the send button. So. I wake up, I write an email 10 to 30 minutes, I send it out to my list, and within a few minutes, I see sales, sales starting to just roll in, right, for, for whatever product I'm promoting that day. 
So this can really be your reality once you've built a list, once you've built the relationship with that list, and once you have a business that runs on email. Okay, so these are just a few reasons. I'm gonna share more reasons as this series goes on. There's a lot more than this, but I don't wanna overwhelm you. But before we go any further, I need to debunk a common myth out there. You probably probably have seen somebody saying this before, right? Email is dead. Email is not dead. In fact, far from it. I think it's more alive than ever before. There are more people online than ever before that are checking their email, that are in front of a computer screen. I feel like email is more important now than it was just even a few months ago. So how do I know this? Well, when you sign up with any company, doesn't matter what it is, right? A software, a product, a service, uh, for a free trial, for a newsletter, what is the first thing they ask you for? Your email address, right? Your first name or your last name and your email address. Sometimes they don't even ask for your name, they just want your email address. So email is like your identity on the internet. And nearly everyone has an email account that they check daily, sometimes multiple times per day. It also has an insane marketing and sales ROI, right? So here is a website called Oberlo. It is a software tool for uh, Shopify or e-commerce stores. And you can see here, average expected ROI is $42 for every $1 you spend on email marketing. $42 for every $1 spent is a 4,200% ROI. That is just, that's madness, right? That's huge. So here's HubSpot. More than 50% of res respondents check their personal email account more than 10 times a day, more than 10 times a day. And it's by far the preferred way to receive updates from brands. 99% of consumers check their email every day. So we know that people are in front of a computer. We know that people are looking at their email sometimes multiple times per day, right? 10 times per day. So we know they're there. We just have to monetize that attention. Their eyeballs are on their inbox. We need to learn how to write emails that sell, which is what you're gonna learn in this series. So now that that's out of the way, we've covered that email is still a thing. It's not this dinosaur. It is still important. It is still a huge driver of revenue and sales and profits in basically any business. Let's talk about the three steps to becoming an email rainmaker. Step number one is to pick a niche. Now, if you watch any videos on my channel, you know that it always starts with this, picking a niche, picking a market to base your business around. So a niche is a specific industry or group of people with a specific problem that you'll be building your business around. The big three are anything in health, wealth, or relationships. And there are thousands of sub niches with, within each of these, right? You don't wanna just pick health as your niche or wealth, right? It has to be sub niched within that niche. So here's an example. Uh, this is from my YouTube channel when I first started it. I'm in the wealth category. And within wealth, there's online business. Within online business, there are service-based businesses. And within online service-based businesses, there is drop servicing, which is a, a certain business model, right? So you can see here, I didn't just pick wealth. I sub-niched and I sub-niched again, and I sub-niched again, and this is what I landed on. This has really helped my channel to grow quickly to over 10,000 subs in less than six months. So that's number one, build a pick a niche. Number two, build a list. So offer something of value to get people on your list. And we'll talk about how to do this, everything around list building in the next video, video number two. Number three is to offer them solutions to their problems. Send an email every day to sell affiliate offers or your own products or services or clients products or services anything that solves a problem for your niche, right? It needs to solve some kind of pain point or problem for them. Now, here is what a laid back day in the life looks like for a business that runs on email. And this is what my, my day pretty much looks like uh, pretty much every weekday. So I wake up around 6.30 to seven. So it takes me about 30 minutes, seven to 7.30. I wake up, take a piss, wash up, make some coffee, get ready for the day. 7.30 to eight. If you're on my email list, you know that I do this. I write an email, I send it out to my list at 8 a.m. And then I watch as sales start to roll in for whatever I'm promoting that day. From 8 to 12.30, I am doing deep work. So I'm writing sales copy or I'm creating content or videos like this. I'm doing product development. I am working on some sales funnels, right? So anything that requires a lot of deep uninter uninterrupted work time is what I'm doing from 8 to 12.30. Now, I really could, if I wanted to, stop the work day after, you know, right at eight. As soon as I send out an email to my list and sales start to roll in, uh, I'm already profitable that day, right? So I could stop the day right there, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty ambitious in what I wanna do in my business. So 
there's other things that need to be done. So I'm doing from eight to 12.30, I'm working on deep work tasks like this. From 12.30 to 1.30, I am doing a quick workout plus eating some lunch. From 1.30 to five, I take any sales or client calls if I have them. Checking with my team, I mess around on social media. If anyone's like asking questions in my student groups or my client groups, I go in and answer questions there. And really, if there were only one thing that I could do every day without exception, one thing, it would be to send an email out to my list. Sending an email is building the relationship with my customers and is a revenue generating activity, right? It generates sales and profits for my business, which is what we're all after, right? We want sales, that's why we're in business. We wanna make money. So email is the main driver of that. It generates over 50% of our sales and that is the one thing that I need to be doing every day to continue driving my business forward every single day. Now, here are five examples of six to seven figure businesses that run on email. Number one is Ben Settle. So Ben is a grand master at email marketing with a very simple business model. People land on his homepage. They opt in for a free issue of his fantastic $97 a month email players print newsletter. It is Here's an example. It is like an actual print newsletter. It's paper, 16 pages or so, 20 pages, that he sends out for $97 every month. And once someone becomes a customer of that, he offers them higher ticket physical books, anywhere from 200 to like over $1,000, right, for physical books that he ships out to you, uh, all around marketing and email copywriting. So very simple business model. It's an info publishing business, and I love this business model. It's so simple, it's easy, and it runs almost entirely on email. He doesn't really use any paid ads. He doesn't have social media. So uh, I love this lean business model and I am taking bits and pieces and applying it to my business. So that's number one. Number two is growthresponse.io. This is my agency and consultancy. People come from cold email or social media or paid ads. They opt in for some kind of bait, which is a free training or a, or my subject line secrets report. And they receive emails about email marketing and are offered a strategy session or then I then sell our done for you email marketing service. So that is an example of more the service based side of things. Number three is seananthony.co. This is my info publishing and online education company. People come from social media or from paid ads. They purchase a low ticket front end product and then they get daily emails where I promote other products to help them start, grow, and scale their online business. So I, I have some mid-ticket courses. I have a higher level coaching program. I have done for you consulting services that kind of ties into growth response. So once they buy that front end offer, I have other offers and products and services that I promote on the back end. So number four is Scott's Cheap Flights. And this is a really simple business model, but you go to their website, you give them their e your email address, and you get cheap flight alerts. And it's monetized with affiliate offers, with sponsored ads, and they have a subscription service you can sign up for as well. And I read that this business has over 300, I think like $330,000 per month, uh, just using this simple uh, business model that runs on email and these cheap flight alerts. So go check it out if you wanna, if that's interesting to you. Number five is The Skim. This is a daily morning newsletter that shares information on world news, money, and wellness. So all of these businesses, they run on email. And whether you wanna go into info publishing, creating your own digital products or even physical products, whether you wanna go into services, whether you wanna get into affiliate marketing, uh, you wanna get into online education and teaching people, email can drive that. You can, you can have entire businesses that are built on email like any one of these here. And this is just you know a t the tip of the iceberg here. So there are so many ways to build a lucrative, low stress biz that runs on sending simple emails. There's no one way to do it. There are literally thousands of businesses that, that run on simple emails. My recommendation, if you need fast cash, start with doing it as a service, like a done for you service for clients. Then you can eventually build your own email publishing style business where you're, you're sending out emails to sell any kind of information or digital products. Now, lucky for you, you're gonna discover how to do both of those in this five-part video series. So, recap of what we covered. I talked about what is an email rainmaker, why I freaking love email, three steps to becoming an email rainmaker, and five examples of six to seven figure email-driven businesses. Now, next week, we're gonna talk about how to build an email list the way that I do it, the modern 2020 way. I have a counterintuitive approach to doing it that is not like what people tell you most of the time, so you're gonna see that next week. 
Now, if you wanna join my Facebook group, it's a new Facebook group, you, you can go to emailrainmaker.com. It's called the Email Marketing Rainmakers, all about how to grow your business and grow your sales and grow your list using email. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concern, uh, concerns, go down below, let me know. And other than that, I will see you next week.